Welcome to Blue Siesta. In today's video, I would like to share with you few things you should avoid while scuba diving. Let's dive into it. Solo diving. Scuba diving is a recreational activity in which you need a body to dive together. The body system is essential and very important since your body will be the first person to help if you have any problem underwater. Communicating with your body and diving in pairs is crucial for a safe dive. Diving in a bad physical condition. When I travel to go scuba diving, I avoid trying food that could upset the stomach and annoy my body. Also, I try to hydrate myself by drinking plenty of water. If you don't feel okay, it is okay to skip the dive. Remember that you don't have to force yourself and always dive when you are feeling okay. Missing equipment. Scuba diving gear is the equipment you need to dive underwater and checking for any missing equipment is very important. Also, remember that the lower you go, the colder it gets, so dress accordingly. If you happen to rent the equipment, please check thoroughly that all the gear is working okay. Mask quiz. Usually when we begin to scuba dive, we are concentrating so much in our buoyancy that we forget to equalize the air space in the mask to the surrounding water pressure as we descend. This can lead to a bloody eyeball, which will take at least two weeks to recover depending on the gravity of the injury. In order to prevent mask squeeze, occasionally try to blow your nose when you are descending. This will equalize the pressure inside our face mask to the pressure outside the mask. Problem with equalizing. Equalizing is essential when it comes to scuba diving. Therefore, equalize properly when you are descending. And if you have any problem, try to ascend a little bit to be able to equalize better. Never force yourself to descend when you cannot equalize because that will be painful and can damage your ears. Skipping safety stop. Safety stop gives your body time to release the nitrogen absorbed during the dive. Skipping safety stop means that you are giving your body less time to disperse the tiny bubbles of nitrogen formed during the dive. Therefore, unless you are in an emergency, please make the safety stop at the end of every dive. Quick ascent. A quick ascent can cause decompression sickness which can endanger your life. Therefore, when you are ascending to the surface, please check your diving computer and try to ascend slowly. Remember that the slower the ascent, the less stress to your body. I am a strong believer of safe diving. Normally, when people start to scuba dive, they tend to be safe and thorough with the equipment. But with experience, people have the tendency to not check thoroughly, and this is when accident can happen. So it is very important never to be arrogant of your experience. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.